Hey everybody. I wanted to start out with these <laughs> girls because one of my subscribers asked a very um, pertinent, relevant question. Obviously it's a topic that's on my mind a lot because I do mention it a lot. She asked if I have any forever babies and whether I had resold Charlie or again, because I did sell her once and then I panicked and got her back. Um, and yes, so Charlie is still here. I've had Charlie for like four and a half years, I think, at least. I think it's between four and four and a half. I'm pretty sure it's four and a half years. Um, and she was like my first, she was anyway, very, very special how I got her. And then, um, and she's the, if you haven't met Charlie before, <laughs> she's as, as She's sitting up, but she's a newborn. This is the Sally Sculpt by Bonnie Brown, and she was reborn by Marina Matsko in Russia. And then um, this is my other uh, baby that I cannot picture ever, ever letting go. I died when I first saw her, and she still just um, does it for me. <laughs> she makes my heart skip a beat. She's my girl. This is my girl. This is... Amity, and she is the Tayra sculpt by um, Gudrun Legler, and she was reborn by Alana Lilly, um, and, I, and her full last name is escaping me right now, her current last name, but Alana Lilly is how she is. She also did my Anastasia that I have upstairs, my Anastasia by Olga Auer. Um, that's Murphy Anastasia is her name, so. I wanted to share these two girls and I have, I really think that, um, well, Charlie will probably stay in here for a little bit on the bench now with Amity, but I really love her too in the classic baby, like ducky themed stuff. So we might go back to a little bit of that yellow, really yellow and baby blue have historically been her colors. Well, she doesn't come out very much, but she's sort of my mascot. I, don't get me wrong. I've thought of like, should I let her go? But I, I, first of all, she gives me that judgy look every time I think about it, look at her, but also, um, but why, you know, when you think about she's four plus years old, um, she's very fair painting style, she, you know, she, it wouldn't be worth what I would sell her for wouldn't be worth letting go of her. Um, and I love her. So sometimes we take it for granted and I'm learning too, that the not interacting with the dolls and, um, like not changing them and stuff like that really affects how easy it is for me to get rid of them. So as if you saw my last video, you'd hear a little bit that I am remedying that. <clears throat> and then I've never ever considered selling her. And she's been here for um, a year and a half, over a year and a half, not quite two years, I don't think. Um, never considered it once. She's one of my favorites, if not my favorite of all time. So if we come, I, I, I'm not ready to do a house tour just yet because I do want to straighten up first, but I'm going to, my little Laura is right there. Um, it's a wonderful life. I'll let you say hi to George. I couldn't remember if I posted a box opening of George or not. This is Cameron by Laura Tuzio Ross. His artist is an artist in the UK that I'm not familiar with, so her name isn't committed to memory, but I found him on eBay actually. And I really love him. He's got painted hair, almost barely there painted hair, which actually is giving me an idea because there's a kit I'd like to get painted that the version I love is painted very much almost identically to him. Maybe I'll check in with her. But there's George. All right, we'll be back. Good morning, everyone. I have a really exciting, unexpected box opening. This baby uh, just did it for me. I've always loved the sculpt. I got to meet the sculpt in person within the first few months of being in the community at one of my first meetups. It wasn't the first one, I don't think. Anyway, I've only ever seen this sculpt in person one time, which isn't that surprising, but I've always loved it. And this version was really awesome. So I caught the, the male lady had left a slip 
she's subbing for my normal who usually just leaves stuff even if it needs signature. But I caught her across the street before she left. <clears throat> One of the good things about a small town though is really like I could have gone and gotten her pretty quickly. <laughs> Look at this pretty paper. So I found this baby on Reborns.com. The artist is also on Facebook and Instagram. Her name's really familiar, um, but I haven't figured out why yet. Oh yay, so one of the outfits she sent, the outfit, the outfit she sent is one of the ones from her photo shoot. Love this. Simple white, really nice white, old navy, bloomers and top. It's a zero to three month. And just looks absolutely gorgeous on this doll. I see her COA. Take that out. Oh, she's a small addition too. A little thank you card. Thank you so much for adopting insert name. I hope she brings you lots of happiness and joy. I really think she will. And <laughs> a sweet little elephant lovey. Uh, this is H&M Home. This Elephant. Okay, this this is really interesting. I'm gonna jump in a second. So she sent this little book, Love, You're My Little Baby, and it's elephants on the front, and it's all baby animals. I love this book, but let me show you. <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago, I have been always loving Wendy's Bears, you know? By the time I see a posting, the thing's already sold, and I was able to snag one. An elephant. So I think that's kind of cool. <clears throat> My elephant, elephant's name is um, Truman, by the way. Very, very cool. Let's see. Oh, she's nice and heavy. A couple more goodies. But we can ditch the box, I think. nice box. I want to get my knife again for the tape. All right, so we have beautiful hair bow, some lovely flower stickers, and a baby powder uh, wonder wafer. Pretty stickers. I love those. This is her sleeper. It's Kate Quinn, I can tell. And it's mushrooms. Oh, it's a, it's a gown. I'm gonna love blue on her also, zero to three months. So I was thinking she was three to six, but, um, cause she's, I think the same length as Amity, but she probably can do both, just depending on the brand. <laughs> I love that I laid it out on the mummified baby. Okay, let me grab my knife. Cut Jackie boy. He doesn't have any tissue paper. Right. Nobody panic. Oh, watch the knife, baby. Hi, sweetie. Do you need this baby with us? Huh. 
<laughs> See my little guy right here. Oh, I love her soft face. Zoom you guys in a little bit. charger cord sticking out from under the couch. Oh, they've got a little bit of sun peeking through. <clears throat> we might have to close the blinds, but let's look at her little feet. Oh, I love these socks. Her beautiful skin tone. You know she's got these open hands. She's lovely. I want to see her face. Are you ready? She's gorgeous. The sun went behind the clouds too. You guys, it's Tegan by Laura Lee Eagles. Her artist is Holly Cook at Moon River Babies. Or Moon, Moon River, it's either Moon River Babies or Moon River. Um, nursery, reborn nursery, but I will put her Instagram link um, and Facebook link in the description. She's got beautiful moisture under her nose. I can't really see. I have you so close. So she's got moisture under each nostril. She's got these beautiful little beauty marks around her eyes, little freckles. Obviously painted hair. The light's reflecting off her right now, but um, Painted hair is awesome with all these layers. I love her. She's about seven pounds. <laughs> Pick her up. Oh, she's a big girl. I love her. I think she's 22 or 23 inches. Look at her COA. Doesn't say on the COA, but she's number 362 out of the 750. Sorry. Oh, she's gorgeous, Holly. Thank you so much. Show you guys her face. Absolutely lovely. We'll definitely be back to share her more, but I wanted to capture her box opening. I'm going back and do a whole size look and changing. And she's here and she's mine. So gorgeous. Love her. We'll be back soon, guys. Thanks for coming by to watch. Sending out lots of love. Bye for now.